Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Fujifilm X100V and Sony RX107. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Fujifilm X100V and the Sony RX107 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 4th of February 2020 and the 25th of July 2019. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X100V. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony RX107. For portrait photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Fujifilm X100V and the Sony RX107. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X100V. And here are some sample photos from the Sony RX107. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X100V. The Fuji X100V is an amazing camera that surprises me with its capabilities even after a year of use. As a former professional photographer, I appreciate its film simulations, image sharpness, and easy operation. The only downside is the fixed lens, so I plan on getting the X-T3 for different focal lengths. Overall, I highly recommend the X100V for its quality and versatility. I have been searching for the perfect camera for years and finally found it with the Fuji. The image quality is amazing, the portability is great for hiking, and the dedicated dials make it easy to use. It's not without its flaws, but overall it's the best camera I've ever used. Here's what people have to say about the Sony RX107. I've been debating whether the Sony RX107 is worth the $1,200 price tag, and for me, it definitely is. It's a phenomenal compact camera that performs well in decent light and can even replace my larger camera and lenses in some cases. The autofocus is quick and tracking is impressive. The only downsides are the lack of a stick-on hand grip. I've been using the Sony A7R 3 for my travel photography and pre-ordered the A7R IV, but I wanted something smaller for my trips. The A7C is great for natural light photos and has a built-in flash, but it gets slippery and doesn't come with a real battery charger or manual. Despite these drawbacks, it's a great compact camera for travel. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Fujifilm X100V. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Sony RX107. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 